What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to talk about uh, behavior subjects. So what's this behavior subjects first of all? Uh, suppose consider an example. When you, uh, you have some data uh, and there are several instances of the same data being used in your application in several components. Okay. Uh, now you make a change to that data and you want that change to be up uh, I mean not up applied synchronously throughout the instances of the data being used in your application in various components. So that's where a behavior subject comes in and it uh, helps you to keep the sync within your application for that instance of that data. So uh, 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 how can you do this in your this is entirely a reactive JS concept. That is highly useful while building uh, Angular 2 applications. So that's why I thought I would probably you know show it uh, in a video. So let's get started, guys. First of all, uh, my audio system for this video recording is not working fine. So I am recording the audio separately and then syncing it along with this video. So excuse me if there is any uh, you know slight delay in synchronization or something. So yeah, uh, I got that over. Uh, let that. Uh, Okay, let's begin. The first thing we'll do is uh, get here. I have just created an application and uh, nothing fancy in this, as you can see. Now I'll just go ahead and do something. Uh, I'll generate four components. Okay, ngg component first, first. Okay. I let this get generated. Meanwhile, what I'll do is, uh, meanwhile, nothing I'm going to do. I need that those components first to in order to explain what we are trying to do here. And then second, and then third. Oh, sorry. And fourth. Okay, we have four components and uh, we'll generate a service as well. <coughs> service, um, random service, random. some random service, okay. Okay, this is done. So first of all, first how will you send, normally without behavior subjects, how will you send uh, data between components? Uh, the simplest way would be to have an input for one of the components and then uh, send the uh, data that needs to be sent into that component as an attribute through the uh, template itself. Uh, let me just show you a simple example and then we'll move into behavior subjects. Okay. So suppose uh, I want to move some data from app.module.ts uh, to uh, first component. Okay. Sorry, app.component.ts to first component. And that would be uh, some message equals from app component. Okay. Now what you'll do is get into first. Uh, before that, I'll get into app dot component dot html. Remove all these, and then uh, do my app first. Okay, uh, now what I'm doing is app first has an attribute, say for example, uh, incoming message. Okay, and for this, I'll give this what was that? Some message, right? Some message, some message. Okay, now this is this some message is passed as an input to the uh, first component, and in the first component, I'll receive it using the decorator. Right. Input and here what I'll do is at the input decorator. What was that uh, incoming message? Right, incoming message. Uh, new ran message. This will be a string. And then what I'll do is uh, get into first of component .html. from first uh, 
new rand message okay now i have received that message that was sent as an input from app.component.html into this first.component.html and uh, uh, first.component and then i am showing it in the uh, screen let's see how this works so i'll just give ng serve okay from app component to works but you get my point right from first is the one we gave here and this new random message is the one that we are sending from this from app component and that is getting displayed here so this is how you share data between components right but if you change this this thing you need that change to reflect everywhere else in the application right that won't happen in real time now if i change this it will happen because this build system will identify that as a change and then rebuild this entire app so it will happen but uh, uh, while the app is running and you need to change some data you get my point right uh, even though i can't show it as an example now uh, you get my point right when the app is running and an instance of the data is changed so all the uh, instances of that same data being used across the components should reflect that change right should be in sync with that particular uh, data so what uh, that's where a behavior subject comes in and uh, let us see how uh, we can use that effectively in our applications so first i'll get into this uh, random.service.ts and then uh, here i'll import uh, sorry from rxjs/behavior subject okay and uh, here i'll give behavior subject okay and inside this what i'll do is uh, not inside constructor first i'll declare a behavior subject i'll have private message source equals uh, new new behavior subject of string and this should always have a default message okay so uh, this is the default okay and then in the next one we'll simply have a, a telecast telecast equals this dot message source dot as observable so now we can simply subscribe to telecast right and we'll have one more method called edit message what this will do is new message uh, this dot uh, telecast dot next this will be a new message okay now what we'll do is oh sorry this is an observable right? this dot message source dot next okay uh, now we have an edit message that will pass the okay you will understand this if, uh, if while this code runs so uh, i'll get back to first or component dot html oh, sorry first or component dot ts and then import this data service first from uh, serve data auto set uh, random service right dot spec okay and uh, here i'll have private some service random service and uh, inside the ng on init uh, here i'll have something uh, message string inside the ng on init i'll simply uh, subscribe to this dot uh, some serve dot telecast dot uh, subscribe that will get a message which i'll then assign to this dot message equals message okay you're understanding this right i am simply subscribing and then upon subscribing i'll get the message which i am assigning it to our message the local variable here the message and then this message i'll show here uh inside the same p tag we can show message okay very simple right and then we'll make use of the same thing in the second third and fourth as well so we'll go here 
copy this go to fourth component paste okay yeah let's see you get my point right this is my point exactly from first component this is the default from second this is the default the default is nothing but uh, uh where was it where was it where was it where was it this is the message that we are initially sending in the uh behavior subject and then we are getting an observable from the behavior subject to which we are subscribing in all the components so technically if this message changes if we edit this that message then the new message should replace the old one across all instances in all the components right let's see if that happens so what we'll do is uh, first component we'll tinker with first component we'll simply add a input input type equals text ng model equals uh, edited message okay and then we'll have a button button click equals uh, edit the message and change okay and then one first component we'll have one more thing that is the edited message and uh, edit the edit the message what was it edit the message uh, inside this uh, this dot some so dot uh, edit message uh, this dot edited message okay now what's the error okay this is not binding because we didn't import forms at angular slash forms and inside this we'll have forms module save this get here forms module okay and uh, now this should vanish but it hasn't vanished yet let's see okay now technically if we uh, type some message here and click on change every instance of that message should change right let's see change the message see this message is changed which means that all the instances the change is being reflected right this is the purpose of this is the not purpose benefit of using behavior subject while sharing data between your components guys this is what i wanted to show you guys in this video uh, the main takeaways from this video behavior subject is highly useful uh, yeah the behavior subject is highly useful it will have by default a message that will get sent whenever some uh, thing subscribes to it some uh, some value uh, some component subscribes to it and uh, whenever there is a change in that message or whenever there is a change in the default value the change will get reflected to uh, all the subscribed instances of that particular behavior subject you get my point right so that's what uh, the oh, how, all the subscribe so suppose a new instance subscribes to that behavior subject that new instance will get only the current value it won't reflect the old values for example wait i'll show you uh, consider that fourth message is a new instance okay fourth message is a new instance uh, uh, where is the fourth component fourth component is here right instead of writing this inside here i'll write it inside uh, subs subscribe subscribe uh, behave behavior subject okay subscribe be subscribe not be uh, behavior okay uh, and this is a method inside this method i'm writing this and then in the html uh, instead of showing it like this what i'll do is i'll add a button button click equals 
subscribe what was that uh, dh right in the method and uh, close this button and then we'll have a subscribe button okay so initially it won't subscribe to that particular behavior subject upon clicking that button it will sub, uh, subscribe okay so this is the default is the default message right but in the fourth it's not showing because we haven't yet subscribed to that particular behavior subject suppose i'm changing that subject okay uh, this is the new message okay i have changed and all the instances got changed as you can see here but we haven't yet subscribed here when we subscribe it will get the current value this is the new message that's what it will get it won't get the previous one this is the default message that won't get but if you change again changed again this time the change will be reflected across all the subscribed instances you get the point right so behavior subject is technically uh, very useful when you create applications that share data throughout uh, through several components all the data will be like synchronized together and all the changes will reflect across all the instances of that particular data so yeah guys that's what i wanted to share with you guys today i thought it was highly helpful when i was writing apps and i thought maybe you would feel the same way too uh subscribe uh is not subscribe hit like hit the thumbs up button if you like this video subscribe if not already uh, and share it with uh, share this video with someone else and help them too i'll try to edit this and make this as short as possible still i am not sure about the audio thing since i'm uh, recording the audio separately and the video separately anyway i'll try to somehow manage it so yeah guys uh, thanks thanks for watching my videos uh, stay subscribed uh, i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye